Madam President. The senator from Oklahoma. You know, I, I, we've been discussing this and debating this uh, Obamacare for how long now? Three years, I guess, as long as I can remember. It seems like uh, ever since he's uh, been, well, several years anyway. I've never heard that argument before where they say, well, you have, you have the same government run uh, uh, plan. Why don't you include you? That's not true. It's not true at all. As a matter of fact, we have, and I've worked in the corporate world, and I've been on the leadership part where we're making decisions and offer our employees uh, the benefits of different companies. It could be Aetna, it could be Blue Cross Blue Shield or anybody else. We can make that determination as to what we want, and then we pay for it. And I don't see, I don't think that argument's ever been used to my, to my uh, memory. Now, I'm going to be, uh, I, I wasn't coming down to talk about that, but I will, since I'm, I am a co-sponsor of the Cruz Amendment. I think anything you can do to get rid of Obamacare is in our, our interest. Right now, our Attorney General in the state of Oklahoma is uh, Scott Pruitt, and I just talked to him this morning. He has a lawsuit that is uh, a, a, to a, a amended complaint challenging the implementation of Obamacare. Uh, Scott Pruitt's arguing that the IRS is attempting to redefine Obamacare's mandate tax in order to hike, hike taxes on Oklahoma employees. Now, that's what's happening right now in my state of Oklahoma. And I don't know how the polling goes. I would only say this. I sense a, 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 an air of, of uh, anxiety in a lot of these people trying to support right now Obamacare because people have caught on. People in my state of Oklahoma have caught on. We're talking about Oklahoma would have to spend an additional $400 million over the next 10 years on Medicare, Medicaid in order to cover those who already qualify and will be forced into the program, this government program we're talking about, uh, due to Obamacare and the mandate. And this money will be diverted from schools and from roads and, and other needs of public safety in, in the state of Oklahoma. And our research shows that premiums in Oklahoma could increase anywhere from 65 to 100 percent due to the coverage mandates required by Obamacare. So it's as if we're having this debate all over again, but they're bringing up things now that I've never really heard of. I want to mention one thing, and, and uh, that is there's a friend of mine in, in Oklahoma whose name is David, um, uh, David Green. David Green, several years ago, started with one store, a thing called Hobby Lobby, one store in the state of Oklahoma. And it, it is now... He has 500 stores, he's in 41 states, and he has, I don't know, like, I think it's over 50,000 employees. Right now, he is, in, is, is faced the, a, a new kind of intimidation. This guy's never faced in his life. And that is, it's an intimidation of saying, because David Green disagrees because of his religious convictions in, uh, against providing his employees with abortion-inducing drugs. And the company faces now $1.3 million a day. Now, all you pro-abortionists, you like this. This is wonderful. He is one who hires people and has hired thousands of people in 41 states in this country and is now providing all the, these benefits for, for Americans. And all he's saying is his religious convictions don't allow him to participate in abortion-inducing drugs. And so he's under the threat right now, if you do the math, $1.3 million a day. Now, here's a guy that I guess I'm more, more sensitive to this than I should be because I've known him from the very beginning.